RC time constant measurements. Use an oscilloscope to capture the first order capacitor charging response. 6 volt DC source, it's the measured value of resistor and measured value of capacitor. Remove the source, discharge the capacitor. Reconnect the source after the oscilloscope is ready. Calculate the time constant using measured values of R and C. Time constant turns out to be 119 milliseconds. Four time constants is 476 milliseconds. Therefore, set the oscilloscope to 100 milliseconds per division. And since there's a 6 volt response, set the oscilloscope to 1 volt per division. Initialize the oscilloscope. Select DC coupling and bandwidth limit on. 1 volt per division and 100 milliseconds per division. Set the time trigger near the left edge. Set the voltage trigger a little above zero. Select the trigger menu. Select normal mode. Ready means that the oscilloscope is waiting for the voltage to satisfy the trigger conditions. Close the switch at the circuit. That's the trigger point. And these are pre-trigger values. This is t equals zero seconds in the step response. Measure the time constant using the oscilloscope. Turn the cursors on. Select voltage cursors. Put one cursor on the bottom. Put one cursor on the top. Read 5.96 volts between the cursors. Calculate the voltage at the first time constant, 3.77 volts. Now move the top cursor to 3.77 volts. Three point seven six volts is the closest digital value. Now move the entire trace so that the time constant lines up with the second vertical grid line. Select time cursors. Put the first cursor at t equals zero. Put the second cursor at the time constant. 112 milliseconds is the measured time constant. 119.2 milliseconds was the calculated time constant, so that's a negative 6.4 percent error. Save the image and data to a flash card, which can be analyzed with Excel and MATLAB. That's the flash card with the USB holder. Note the front and the back. Note the front and the back. Insert it gently. Select Save and Recall. Select Save All and Save All to Files. Then select Cursors so that the time constant is visible. Press Print. Wait while the data is written to the flashcard. 
Remove the flash card. Insert it gently into the USB holder. Examine this data using Excel. Insert the USB drive and open the appropriate folder. Open the image file. The image will confirm the correct data. Open the Excel file. Note the sample time is 0.4 milliseconds. Column D is time. Column E is the capacitor voltage. Insert a scatter line plot. Note that T equals zero at the trigger point. And the real starting point occurs prior to T equals zero. Select all the real data and omit all the unwanted voltage values. Copy only the desired values into WordPad. Save the file as a text document. Choose a distinctive short name. The text file name must not have any spaces in the name. Create this MATLAB script and save it in the same directory as the data file. Execute the script by pressing Run. Note that the program will stop at line 5 after it plots the selected voltage values. Note that the x-axis is not time. It is the counter for the data values. A time vector matching the voltage values can be constructed in MATLAB because we know the sample time is 0.4 milliseconds. Comment out the return statement, and then the entire script will run. The experimental step response matches the theoretical response, which was one of the main purposes for this exercise.